remember the alternative universe. And actually, it's not entirely to correct to see them as two different tables, two universes. Because mostly research happens on a continuum, like I showed you yesterday. But just to make the point about what's the difference between this and this, I put them into two tables. But um, although some authors in textbooks do that, I don't like that because they not do e it's not either or. If you do qualitative research, there are places where you do a little bit of quantitative research like counting how many people said the following when you do a thematic analysis. And when you do a quantitative analysis here, uh, you are looking at variables in a way, or, or you are focusing on people's thinking patterns, but it's not the primary focus. So this would be the primary research design, and that would be the primary research design. But there's some, something in between them that make them marry each other. So, on our quantitative side, in our universe, the nature of the research process is very focused, very focused. We focus on variables. Variables are the thing. You've got to have variables, and you've got to identify which are the dependent and which are the independent variables. And the whole research is structured and written out, out and you just follow the line. There's nothing in unexpected coming through. It's very static, so the design stays the same, and you have a very objective view. So you stand back and you observe. You have mostly large samples. You've got to make sure that they are representative of the, the population. So what is not here, but I'll add that for next time, you've got to have a population as a frame of reference. You refer back to the population. And the sample is a small subset of what happens in the population. Your findings will be communicated in numbers and statistics, <coughs> and you write in a very formal, scientific way of writing. And what you're trying to do is to explain, to predict, or to test the theory. In the other universe, it's different. In the other universe, the nature of the research process is very holistic. So, there's an overall design that you follow, but then you are very flexible. So if somebody says, but actually I see it differently, then you allow for that difference. Or they would say, why don't you go talk to so-and-so rather? Then you follow that lead. There's no structure. There's following the pattern. So it's context-bound, but context-bound means I'm focusing on international trade, but I'm allowing them to take me where they want to within international trade. Here there's no context because you set up front the objectives of the research and then you can forget about them, it's already there. You normally have small samples but very rich data and you do observations and interviews and of course your reasoning is inductive because you grow the body knowledge. Your results come in words and stories, and you might use a lot of individual quotes. Candidate A said, and then you would have a quote from candidate A. In contrast to that, candidate B said, and you'll put that through, or you'll say, three interviewees all mentioned that, and then you can quote what they were saying. Or, indeed, this person said something completely opposite. And it's okay for that person to have said that. So your writing style becomes personal and literary. So it's you writing this up. And the reason for the research is to describe and explain, to explore, and to pull theory. So they are the two universes in a nutshell. And it seems to me like a lot of you are in this, way, this place, and you never knew about the alternative universe like in French.